Welcome, welcome to Settlement Survival and welcome to this beginner series back to basics. This is episode 10 and we do this every Saturday or Sunday as a part of a survival settlement Saturday and Sundays. I um, hope you guys are doing well, I'm not doing too bad at all. I hope episode 1 of this really did help you. So this is episode 2. So if you like the video, please like it and please subscribe down the bottom right hand corner of your screen. On the top right, you'll find that episode 1 is there. If you haven't seen episode 1 of this back to basics. So this is a series basically, in my opinion, on what is easier to do and what you should do to help yourself progress on here so where did we get to last time well, we're getting some water in we've got nine so far we've had a sawmill um, we've got hunter's lodge so we're getting some food now we're okay with food at the moment food is doing really well but we are short on fuel okay and winter is coming we've got two people in there so I'm hoping that they will progress quicker um, if not they will use wood but obviously we don't we don't really particularly want them using wood because that is going to cause a bit of an issue for us. So the next building I believe that we should add to our little settlement village is none other than the gatherer's hut. Now a gatherer's hut is basically where they go around here with that circle and as you can see you've got loads of vegetables and seed that's on the ground there. Um, they will pick them up they will pick them up and then store them and bring them back. So they, they just pick up vegetables and loose crops, if you like that terminology, um, in the woods and stuff like that and bring them back and put them into your store. So it could be wild vegetables and bits and bobs like that. So we get one of them up so we can get extra food in because you can never have so much. The health is it's gone down a little tad. Um, that's because we haven't got anything, but soon we will be having a clinic. So that will help that situation much more. Um, so everything is all good here. We do need some fuel, as I say, but we will get round to doing that very, very shortly. So we are progressing quite well at the moment. We've probably we've got some points, I would imagine. We've got two points available. Um, so now you need to think about, you know, what is the next thing that you, that you need to do now your next thing really ideally is a church so make sure you got the church because the church it increases citizens happiness okay so this is livability so livability is obviously something that in this game you don't particularly need but it's stuff that makes your life much better living um so obviously a church they like theater and so on um and again, you've also got um, tea and tea shop and so on. That we will get into on another time. Um, education, obviously education is, is very big, but we're going to open the research. Okay, so we've got no points left. Now, the Research Institute, it rapidly generates more development points and it makes it quicker. So if you've got one of these activated in your town, your development points, as you can see here, goes up much much quicker so having a research center or whatever it was is very very important once right, so the building is we've got a clinic so we should have one person in there we have we've got little frank little frank is doing it he's loving it um so the happiness will start to go up once we put something in there that they like um so when i put in a church and stuff like that 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 will increase much more the idea of these sort of games is to really work small and get big over time. Do not go straight on there and you'll go mad. You'll have bits here and bits there. Think what you're doing and where you're putting stuff. Because if I say, for instance, where that that um, that vegetable is there, if I put, say, um, let's just say I put fuel there, okay? So I put a hut like this, okay? Chopping house. So I've put a chopping house here, but my storage for that is over here. Well, that'd be no good because that means that the citizens will have to walk from there all the way back over to there to deliver the wood, like the labourers. 
Um, again, if they if they walk for long distances in long places of where they need to get to, their happiness will go down. Everything needs to be connected to it. So if this needs something from say the store or it provides something resource producing it goes to the store and it needs to be next to the store don't have stores miles away from where the production is because in long terms with this it won't help at all um right so we are short on fuel so that is fine i mean we, we can change it so if you find that you know it doesn't seem to be working very well you can change this and what we can do is we can get 10 timber so we need 10 timber and it's going to produce 20 fuel okay so what we're doing is we're going to change that now just try and keep it up to try and get some some of it in we're going to get some trees we're going to chop some chop some trees down to cover the situation on the wood because we've only got 163 material so this is taking five at a time to produce 10 and this is taking 10 to produce 20 okay whatever it takes in it will double the output excellent right so let's have a quick look at this i just want to have a look see any difference on where stuff is because they've just had an update on the settlement of survival um, well, that seems to be the same Cultural. I think that's the same as well. Just seeing if I can find clay. Herb knowledge. That's something that we will need to unlock. Now herb knowledge, once you've unlocked herb knowledge, you can obviously unlock the nursery before that. But you can actually start growing your own herbs. So you've always got herbs. I mean we've got 115, 114, so we're not doing too bad in that aspect, but um, I'm just seeing sand. That will be the next thing we need to unlock when we get some points, because um, we need to start producing clay. Um, right, as you can see, you've got an orange bit down the bottom here, so that's the bit that we've just unlocked. So we've unlocked the police station and the research institute. Obviously, the research institute is obviously to make it much bigger um and better so we're gonna we're gonna build a town uh town hall because we have got immigrants coming very shortly and they won't be able to go anywhere because we haven't got a town hall so we're gonna stick a town hall here and we're gonna prioritize it by clicking that right as you can see we've got 32 now um if i'm doing anything and you can't see because my head's in the way then I do apologise that I didn't know it's I did well, I didn't know it's here until someone commented on it. Um, my last video that obviously my head was in the way of some stuff. Um, what I do if it does become a pain in the ass, I just get rid of my webcam and I do it without the face. But when I'm talking to someone or, or when you're watching, I, I prefer to look and talk at the same time. Um, so yeah, we, we we'll see how it goes. Right, so. We got we're getting some firewood, so the firewood is doing quite well. Um, we're going to build this town hall, so that's going to be built. Now you can open a, another builder's hut, as you can see here, so we can have more builders. So we'll see if we can um, get more builders building that quickly, and then it means we've got more immigrants. Now you need to think to it's easy to always accept immigrants, okay? But sometimes you need to be careful on, you know, do you really need them? Because they come with loads of problems. Now, an immigrant can also come, if you accept immigrants, they can come with diseases. Um, and what they can do is they can spread it across everyone else in your settlement. And if they spread everything in your settlement, that means the disease could travel. It might not kill them, but it will stay with them. Um, so you'll get new people and then they die instantly and it's because and you've accepted immigrants in that have got diseases so you've got to be careful of food the water you know you're going to accept about 10 11 12 immigrants so when you accept them coming in you've got to be careful on different factors that could happen um, 
for me, the game is 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 all about slowing it down and building gradually. Once you build gradually, you're fine. I, I think some people go too quick, too soon, and we've all been there. I mean, I did it when I first played Banish, you know, many years ago. I, I played it and I thought, oh yeah, I love that. I've unlocked this, so I've done that. I've unlocked this, I've started this, and then it, all, all of a sudden, I've got oh my bloody god, I've got everything that's going all over the place. I've lost track of everything, so it's easy to do that. So it needs to just be taken down, slowed down, and see how you go. So we are in the winter. We are doing well with the firewood. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this back to producing planks, and I'm going to take one person out of that. Okay. So I've taken them out of that. I think that's planks there. Yeah, we've got 44 planks. So, it's fine. What we're going to do is, this is going to be starting building. So we do need some stone. Um, so I will get them to do some, collect some gather rocks very shortly. That's over there. And we're going to build another farm. I'm just going to put, I'm going to take that down so they, they kill them more. Um, we do need to add another field eventually. But we won't add another field until we have a look at the immigrants. Now we, we have got a merchant ship on its way. Um, but obviously the merchant ship is going to um, not come here because we haven't got a trade. We're not at that level yet. Um, but if, it, if we were, it would come from there. So as you can see here, if you click the hunter's hut, you can have last year, it tells you what you produced. And this year, what you're producing at the moment. Um, and by the looks of it, we're not doing too well, actually, to be fair, on that. And you can click any of these citizens, and it'll tell you what it is, what they got. So we, they got rough clothes, shoes, and stone tools. Now, over time, you'll get... Um, we, you'll lose um, clothes, okay? So rough clothes only last for a period of time. Um, you could say they get holes in or something like that, but over a period of time they lose them. So then they go and buy some more um, from your stockpile. So we will need to get a tailor in. We don't need it at the moment. You know, we don't need to rush into stuff. We will need to build it very soon. But what we're going to concentrate is on one building at a time and thinking about the easiest access to stuff. So this is going to be a house area, okay? And so is down that side. So my next house is going to probably be built here. I try and keep the houses, obviously it's got to stay within this circle, like we, we found out before. Um, so we're not going to rush it, we're going to speed it up just a tad. I'm going to have a quick drink while we watch, wait for that to be built. Beautiful. I say I hope you guys are doing well and you've, you like episode one of this Back to Basics. I am trying to get it as Back to Basics as possible. Right, so as you can see here, one citizens want a new home. Now, why is that? Because the immigrants haven't turned up yet. That's because in a family, the houses take four. Okay, so you've got kids, but when they grow up, they want their own house. So then they want to obviously expand. They they want their own houses that, you know, and so, there's, so they would do. I mean, as you get older, that, that's what you want. Right, so we need to build some more houses because we've just accepted 10 more immigrants. Um, so let's start building some of them. So 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That should be technically enough for them. That, so this here, as you can see, you have got a yellow marker above one of these buildings. Now why is that? Well, as you are so nicely, I'll show you. This is because it's hit its production limit, okay? So, your production limit is, if you click the building that's got the yellow thing on it, go to the right, you see a plus sign. Just up it to whatever you want to produce. So, let's just do 600, for, for instance. So, we've got 600 domestic fuel, and as you can see, that's gone now. Right, so, we are trying to get these people in. We've got some more immigrants here now. We're probably going to accept them, okay? Or we may 
no i think we're going to decline them at the moment because we've got enough stuff we need to do clothing now so this is the next thing that will need to be produced is clothing so you'll find the clothing obviously we do we all need a smithy um actually we need a smithy before so let's build a smithy because we're going to run out of tools every citizen carries a tool if be that stone tool or something like that so let's just get that in there just going to build this quickly before we run out i actually missed that so that is being built now and then we can start producing some stone or iron tools we're one short on the house as well so let's just build one more house let's line it up make it look a bit neater there you go so i'll try and keep all the houses together in clo quite close to the market we had three births occurred last season we got we're very healthy so the citizens are clean and healthy so that is good and they are very happy at the moment as well we need some more wood so let's get some more wood for them to build that just going to collect some more wood put that in there so that is good that's building 16 and 40 31 and 40 all right now they're going to start building that so that is great and then we can start producing tools because technically we have run out of tools at the moment so we've got no tools at all so we will get that in as soon as we can let's just make sure someone's in here yes we've got two people there collecting wild vegetables and strew strawberries fruit or anything like that we've got someone in there hebe so she's a doctor clinic or whatever you want to call her um right he's still homeless he hasn't got a home at all as you can see we are dropping food food is going down slowly so as you can like we did before you've got a question mark above something so you click it and we're going to make iron tools out of iron ore and timber so we're going to get two people in there because we accepted them immigrants so we know we can do that so now we've got to think about they're going to use wood and iron timber do that that should be used in timber as well five out planks so what we're going to do now so we're going to change this back over we're going to have it at that okay now these here don't will produce dung okay so we've got 73 in reserve we're going to use dung now to make fuel to keep the citizens warm because it uses quite a lot of wood when you start getting some animals you can actually use their to get sorted out now obviously they're moaning that they've got no tools Okay. and they haven't got any tools so they can't build nothing but they will have tools very very soon we had four, four births that came in last year so we're we're sort of doing well with the birthing situation just going to build two more houses eventually we've got quite a few builders we're going to add we might add one more person to that build um, just when harvesting comes it actually helps it a little bit more again at the moment all you need is a town hall to accept citizens so when citizens come we can accept them um, but you need a town hall to actually obviously accept them
Um, as you probably see today, there was an update for Settlement Survival. Um, if you need me to go through it and break it down, I've got some notes from the developer on what certain bits have done and what changes. There's a lot of bug uh, fixes. Um, there's new factions now and so on. Um, I, can, I can do it on a separate video. Um, I won't do it on here because this is just the back to basics, learning about the game and what we're actually doing. Um, but I can actually do that if you want me to. Now, here is an apartment, okay? Now, apartments are nice. But the problem with building apartments is they're a bit like a um, studio bedsit sort of thing, a hostel, like a hostel. They have, the citizens are, will be happy in it, but not as happy as they would be um, because it takes 24 people. Now, also, you've got a problem there is that if someone's got a disease and they're going home with another 23 people, then they're going to spread it and your, and your citizens will also die quite a lot quite quickly um so yeah you, you do need to be sort of um a little bit worried with that right so we've run out of wood as you can see there there's a question mark or exclamation mark above this that's because there is no wood so we need to get wood so let's get some wood from over this side excellent that will take everyone out and they will go and get some wood quickly so now we need to really think about we've only got this as a little storage area okay so we need to think about expanding that little way so this is going to be the actual um where the birds are going to be this area could be quite a nice area for a little store area so we're going to just expand it up we're going to have a storage yard here just to help out and make a little bit extra space we've acquired new crops not sure what it is peach i think or it could be apple can't remember what we had before um but we are collecting we've got two animals that we've collected so far out of quite a few um, hopefully we'll be able to collect some more there's a lot of animals about right as you can see we've got loads of wood coming in um, what doesn't help with it that's run out of dung is obviously firewood does take a lot so we've got 70 fuel there isn't an awful lot to be fair so we need to just concentrate on what we're doing what I might do is we have got two animals so it does mean that we could add another one of these so we'll add another that to get some more animal get some more dung or poo if you like obviously when you go to click something you can click gather all so it will take everything fell trees so it just take wood gather rocks it just take rocks and then you can gather the plants and it will just take plants itself right we've got harvest time because it is July so we are going into the harvest day of life, if you like. And we still need some more houses. So that really is a surprise, but I thought we would have had enough of them already. Right, I'm going to build two more down here. And then see if that is enough. But our settlement is growing really nicely. So it is going really well. And we're going to add some more houses there before the winter. We're, we're happiness. We've got that as well. So that is good. Let's have a look. We've got one development point. So let's have a look and see what we could choose that for. Um, we haven't built a school yet but we will need to build a school um, we will need trade as well got a dock travel light remodeled a caravan we haven't got 
any trading stuff at the moment so that's probably not for us if you like um you've got a quarry here sand mining so i think we're going to go with this one because this is going to produce clay okay and we're, we're not producing clay yet and we will need to um again we've got a question mark here so let's click this and choose the animal so we're going to go with the goose and we're going to store 10 so this will give you the meat feathers and dung so that's going to get them you'll find that wherever they are at the moment the animals they will make their way over to that area I don't know where they are there's some over there but I don't know if they're my ones doesn't look it oh it's here, here, here. Oh, just one is it so we've got one well, they will breed so we won't take them long to breed so we've got two animal pens we're taking this nicely we've got 90 medicine so what we need to think about now is obviously the medicine side we're all right with that and tools so we've got a problem with tools we, we're getting there you know that, that they're producing that um but we do need by the looks of it um clothing so we will do that but we've we triggered an event now so Harvest season is coming, wild fruits in the wild have also ripened. And st sturdy fruit picker poles can be used to collect them. Some citizens intend to go out to search for some of these supplies in the wild. Go to the, right, so what is it? It's wild fruit, so that's going to be the forest. And we've got thousand wild vegetables out of that. So you can do little things that will help you. Um, we've got quite a few um, wild vegetables they, they're going to be around somewhere so I'm just going to have to go and pick them up but I'm sure they will they do that automatically excellent so we do need to obviously do with clothing we've got some spirits alcohol um, but clothing is a issue as well so let's have a look at the clothing side of it so here's a tailor so we can process leather wool alpaca wool linen or cotton cloth into clothes okay um so we are going to put that down here what i try to do is anything to do with production i put all together and quite close to a store there's no point putting these miles and miles away because people have to walk to them and trust me they don't like walking in this game when we get more stone and stuff like that we will actually um, produce it better right so we've got one here so we've got to try and we've got another little thing that's come along the river that we need to have a look at little mini games if you like citizens were attracted by the beautiful lanterns on the river and found paper notes with riddles and the new year wishes hanging from them try to resolve the riddles. Some citizens managed to guess the riddle of the lanterns and won a reward. So we won 99 rice cakes. So that was that was good. So that will be in here somewhere. I don't know where, but simple foods, rice cakes. There you go. So they want some rice cakes, that, that'll please them. Um, as you can see, the happiness is actually going down, makes you laugh. Um, but we can up that when we actually put a church in. At the moment, we're not going to worry about building a church. Um, we will do going forward. Um, but we'll put a tailors in. Um, once we put a tailors in, we may put a church in just to up the happiness just a little bit. Um, it can be quite simple because, you know, roads, if you use the stone, stone road, that increases the happiness, but obviously increases 50% walking speed. So that, that does help if you build miles and miles away from where your production areas are, if you like. So we've got a little thing here because this is obviously running out of dung. It hasn't got enough to produce. Um, so it's going to have to wait like that until we can actually do produce it. Everyone's got a house. We've got food. We've got water, medicines. That is just being built. 
So our next thing to be built will be a church. That will be here. So it increases happiness. But like everything, it's got a thing around it. There's no point putting a church around here. Because there'd be no happiness where these people are. Okay. So the, the best place for this is going to be up here. So I'm going to put that right in the middle of that. So it's centralised to everywhere where we are. And that can be a little walkway through to get to that. And we can remove the road from that. And that's how that is at the moment. So we've got a little church in the centre of the zone that is covering basically everything it needs to cover. Right, so as, as we work our way down just quickly, the tailor's here, Ken's in there, he's waiting to see, you know, what, what do we need? So we're going to say what we want. So at the moment, we're going to do 10 linen, and that is going to produce some clothes. Now it's come up saying we haven't got any, and that is true, we haven't got none, so we need to wait until we get some leather. Leather comes from the hunting lodge, if it can, if there's any leather about. Um, so it's, it's quite hard to sort of work bits you want. As you can see, when you cover it up, you've got different stuff. So our packer, we've got 84 in reserves. So we're going to use the 84 so we can make some clothes just to make it a bit bigger than what that is at the moment. That's good. At the moment, we're going to we're going to pause this, so we're not going to have anyone in the sawmill. We're going to pause that because we've got enough planks. As you can see here, we've got 103. We don't need any more than 103 at the moment. So that is fine how that is. We're going to build a church to increase this happiness just a slight. We had one birth occurred last, um, last year. Three citizens need clothes. We are producing them now. So hopefully that won't take too long at all. And I'm probably going to build a school as well. Right. Okay, so we're going to add a tombstone because we do need to. Again, it helps with the um, increase. And I think a good place to add the tombstone is in front of the church because, you know, they're quite connected, aren't they? So we will put that in front of the church. People like to mourn from people. Again, you want to try and see if you can leave some leave the trees around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take the whole lot of that area up there. Right, keep them busy. Right, guys. Well, that is right. I'm just going to end the video there. Um, but right, so you built a town hall, okay? Um, and that's how you accept immigrants um, but also you need to select an administrator okay now you don't just choose what one you want first of all you have to wait for it to come up every administrator has different attributes if you like so you've got Demi here used to live in an arid area of cherish water resources so max citizens max first is plus 15 max warmth is 15 so we're going to go with the first okay that will help if you click your town hall now you can see demi is in there okay now you can if you had 5,000 coins auto reappoint if you wanted to um, but that's if you had enough coins and we're nowhere near that sort of situation so yeah again we've got some more immigrants coming as you can see here now, we don't want to build too big and too quick. And we don't need these because we've got some more immigrants coming. Okay? So if you don't want to accept them, you just leave them. You don't even need to talk to them. Just leave them and let them go. We've got more immigrants coming. We'll accept them. Um, we don't want to accept another 20 people, technically, into the citizen, uh, into our settlement at the moment because we're not up to the scratch of having 
and extra people in, especially when we've only got 79 medical medical herbs. So we will leave them um, and we will come back to them on the, the next time. Right, guys, well, thank you so much for joining me on this settlement survival. It has been a blast. Thank you for um, watching the video. Please like if you did like the video and please subscribe down the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Until next time, guys, thank you so much, and I wish you many, many, many luck and happy hours in Settlement Survival. Until next time, I shall see you in the next video. See you later.